Good morning. <clears throat> so today I'm going to give you an update about the $150 uh, Gibson guitar that I bought recently. And I'm going <clears> to <throat> show you what's, what, I've, I, what I've done after I finished um, re-gluing the fret wires and leveling and crowning. Now it's very playable. But I found out that the tuners which were the old ones that is colored, uh, colored green they were very bad um, some of them some of the, sh uh, of the some of the shafts were moving so I had to change them so I replaced the the tuners with a Goto SD90 as you can see here uh, <clears throat> they're not colored green anymore they're more like a cream color, uh, almost same as the Gibson ones. But I had to, uh, I had to drill out the holes a little bit bigger because the original holes had, uh, I think, eight mm uh, size uh, holes in there. And the Goto uses uh, bushings with size eight point eight, so I, I guess it's about eight point five. So I had to drill out the holes a little bit bigger to accommodate the bushings here. And that cost me about $30. These are made in Japan. I mean, I had no choice. Uh, tuners were really bad. So I had to change them. I saw that the headstock didn't have... Uh, I mean, the body had checking, you know, fake checking that they do in China. And they were quite spaced out. I mean the spacing were like like this wide so I did some checking below I did what Thomas said what the hell why not try and do the checking too because I saw pictures online checking were not like this they were more like this in in, in the spacing of the checking but I haven't finished yet and on the headstock, they didn't it, they didn't do the checking, so I just did the checking myself. Put some lines in there. Because I look uh, online, those original vintage uh, Gibsons had the checking like this. So I thought maybe I can practice my, maybe try and replicate that. Just for fun. I mean, it's a $150 fake guitar, so why not? <laughs> I removed the, the name here, which says Les Doll. I just sanded it up, so now it's gone. But I still have to polish it until it becomes uh, a little bit shinier. Because now it's not shiny. So I'm going to try and make it shiny with uh, very fine sandpaper. And maybe some polishing paste. Uh, I've shaved down the, the plastic nut and cut the the height to its correct uh, nut height. So now the string action is very nice. It's very playable. And later I'm going to do a uh sound demo i i one, one, another thing is i scraped some finish on the side on the top of the guitar to reveal the the binding there because originally the paint was all over the top you can almost you almost couldn't see the binding so I scrape off the, the paint on the side here to reveal the binding. So now when you look at it from afar, you will kind of see the shape of the, the guitar because of the binding. Before I didn't hide it, you, you couldn't see the, the, a nice shape because the, the binding on top was covered with paint. So yeah, I did that.
didn't do anything with the pickups it's the same original pickups original i mean the, the pickups that came with the guitar never change i'm thinking of a way to make it to remove the shine on it so i'm still reading online I don't want to just go in there and uh, uh, use uh, sandpaper or what. I'm thinking of maybe doing acid, uh, an acid bath for it. Or maybe vinegar bath. I don't know yet. I can just do brush. Maybe steel brush and use my Dremel tool and just try and make it look like a brushed finish but I'm not gonna do it now I'm gonna wait until the strings are I'm gonna wait until the I need to replace the strings right, right now is the strings are new and it's still very, very playable sounds really nice pickups are not wax spotted so sometimes when I play with distortion I, you can hear some feedback and they're very bright but with some EQing they're okay it's very far from the sound is very far from my original Les Paul <coughs> which is uh, slightly mellower in, in sound and not like it is very bright but I, like, but I like the sound of this sounds like really metal I mean you can play metal with it uh, later I'm going to do a, a sound demo I'm gonna use a I'm going to mic my 2x12 cabinet uh, or maybe I'm going to use my Marshall Origin 20 head through the MX212 with 70-80 speakers I'm going to mic it with uh, a, Zen a Sennheiser uh, E609 which sounds really nice so you can all have a, a nice uh, uh, you can all hear the sound of the guitar even though it's $150 Gibson guitar, I guess you can still make it sound really nice. Oh no, it's now $180 guitar because, because of the tuners that I bought, <laughs> which cost me about $30, maybe $32. So yeah, that's it for, for the update. And here's the, here's the, sound demo for all of you enjoy and thanks for watching